Jawad is here with a great tip for your revenue structure project, and that is how to calculate uh, concrete net values uh, in our revenue project. As you see, we have four columns here that uh, when you select them and when you see the uh, volume uh, parameter in here, uh, it doesn't make any difference when you put rebars in it and when you don't put rebar. But in reality, it is different. For example, when you have uh, too many reinforcement in your concrete, the amount of concrete that you need will be reduced. So uh, we, are doing, we are going to learn a way to uh, find the right uh, amount of concrete that we need for our project. For example, we have these columns here. These, are, these, are, uh, does, uh, these doesn't have any reinforcement in them but in here in these four columns we have all kind of reinforcement let's create a, a schedule for ourselves and let's see the results together let's create a schedule quantities let's i don't want to save the project let's uh select the structural column that's great and let's uh okay that's great and you can name it whatever you want click on okay we, have, we need some parameters here. You can search uh, to, uh, and you can find them, find it here. The first parameter that I need is family and parameter, family and type. Sorry, family and type. The next one is volume, which is gonna be the uh, whole concrete volume, whole, con whole column volume without any consideration for reinforcement. And the key parameter, you can add any parameter you want, but I just want another parameter here, which is estimated reinforcement volume. This is the key parameter that you need to be able to uh, calculate the net volume for your concrete. Okay, that's great. Uh, add it to your schedule and click on OK. Let's uh, zoom in a schedule. You need to pre uh, press hold control at your wheel mouse to be able to zoom in a schedules. Uh, let me see the results a little bit bigger as you can see these are the four columns that are that have reinforcement so they have some uh, numbers in them so uh, for this uh, for these columns we don't need any calculation but for these four we need calculation to calculate the net value for colors to do that first of all let me change the format unit of this one let's make it uh, Let's put it on cubic meter instead of, and let's put it on three decimal places, and that's okay. And click on separate staling zeros, and that's okay. Okay, this is the number that we have. Also, uh, we, you can uh, add more decimal uh, numbers, but I don't want to do that. This, uh, this amount of accuracy is great for me. And the next step, you need to create a, uh, formula to uh, calc to uh, find the net value. Let's create uh, that. To do that, go to the edit from here and from here, let's create a new parameter and let's name it to. Sorry, we need uh, this one. Let's create a calculate parameter and let's name it net volume. And it's gonna be formula, and the discipline gonna be common, and type is uh, volume. Let's let's put it on volume, and then you need to press volume first, and then we want to uh, minus the estimated reinforcement volume from our main one, and then click on OK. And then you have a new fill and you have a new column which is a net volume. Click on OK and then you will have this great uh, uh, number which is a net volume and the concrete that you need. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends and colleagues. As you see, we have this uh, column here and also if you would put any other reinforcement in, this, in other columns too, it will calculate it will calculate them automatically so you will not be worried about any other process in the future
Okay, that was it.